hi guys welcome back to my channel we're learning how to make this beautiful off shoulder blouse so let's move to the cutting table for us to begin with you'll be needing uh measurements and the measurements needed is the bars the under bars the half length circumference the half length the belly button the shoulder the waist the the shoulder to under bars the blouse length and the hip measurements of course hip measurements you might be wondering why we need the hip measurements for an ibu blouse we need a hip measurement because it is a full blouse and the hip measurements using hip measurement to help us to avoid gapings at the back of the blouse and also make make it say uh, avoid the base of the blouse to be tight because most Igbo blouse comes to the hips region now let's start with the cotton as you can see from my tape i took four i'll be taking four i'm sorry i'm just about to mark half an inch first i'm about to mark uh, half an inch off that part first then you take four inches if you do not want it too off if you want a modest one and if you do not want it so modest so the client wants it very off you can go by five you can go by five and a half you can go by six then the next is the width once you take four above for the width you could use five you could use six you could use 5.5 .5. for me i'll be using 5.5 as you can see where i marked 5.5 that is four for the offness and then 5.5 for the width then i'll be descending by 1.5 inches in that neck region that is five and a half in total four off then 1.5 for the neckline four off then 1.5 for the neckline in total 5.5 inches i believe 5.5 inches is okay for a neck if the client wants it modest and if not you can go by six you can go by 6.5 you can go by seven the same method applies to the um armhole i mark three inches from four inches that is seven inches then unlike the normal shoulder you connect it directly to where your neckline stops that's where you connect the armhole directly to where your neckline so you'll be connecting it directly to where your neckline stops so once that as you can see so once that is done i'm, I'm gonna go ahead now to be marking my shoulder to my bust point i'll be going ahead to mark my shoulder to my under bust my shoulder to my half length my shoulder to my belly button and then of course the the blouse length then of course the blouse length so this is me trying to make sure i'm getting the six so while i'm doing that let's paraphrase let's talk about the neckline again your neckline if, if you do not want it too off four inches is fine then for the depth i use four in, uh, 1.5 inches so that is four inches off plus 1.5 that is 5.5 for the depth then for the width 5.5 as well and then you connect to the armhole that is four and seven that's for the armhole four and then i remove three that's what gives me seven rather and you go your, your your armhole is going to be connected to the last part where your neckline stops for where you see the curving of your neckline is where the armhole starts going to the end for reference for advice i say that's for reference sake for explaining again so I, i'm true marking these parts i've labeled them as you can see so the next is for me to get the nipple to nipple point next is to get the nipple to nipple point it's always nice you take your client's measurement the nipple to nipple point so for this for this uh, customer her nipple to nipple point is seven inches on fold is going to give me 3.5 inches so i'll be marking 3.5 inches if remember i'll still be placing it on my a fabric and once i'm placing my fabric i'll be adding an allowance to the fabric so that's why this 3.5 inches that is seven is okay for me because i'll still be adding my allowance on the cloth now once you've done that the next point of attention is your underbust measurements i'll be marking 1.5 inch for one side 1.5 inch 1.25 for one side 1.25 for the other side that is 2.5 inches for a that 2.5 inches for a that if you add them together that is five inches why am i using five inches as you are seeing in this my pattern as you are seeing me marking 
I'm using five inches because that is the best. That is the difference between the client's bust and the under bust. See, so the client's bust and under bust is bigger. I can use six inches. Yes, but for me, well, for this one, since the a bust is just five inches, I decided to use five inches. When you divide by four, that's what to give you here. That's my reason for marking 1.5, 1.25 in the left hand side, 1.25 in the right hand side. But for the up, as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead to mark one one inches difference. One one inches difference. Please take note of what I am doing so you understand perfectly what is happening here. For the down, if you want it packed, if you want your customer to not put on a bra and to still pack her well, it's always nice you use the difference between her bust and the under bust to know to yeah, as the that difference that is the that intake that you would be using and when you are doing it make sure it's not too sharp so that after sewing or while sewing it wouldn't be too sharp then for the under for the half length is the same her under bust and her half length is the same thing that's why i made it the same from this uh, video here then you connect down to the blouse length just take half an inch on each side so you'll be connecting it down to the half an inch the body that leg not exactly where that 3.5 is i believe you see what's happening here so do this method and then lastly you close your bust that you take your bust that that is from your bust point you descend by one inch now i am descending by one inch because this customer as i said is not so busty if you have customers that are so busty you could descend by two inches you could descend by 2.5 inches so please you take note of that please if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section please i'll answer now because i have removed from this my up you notice i have drawn my neckline yet i'm removing two inches for the that that is one for one side one for the other side for the upwards it's going to make my neck too tight so i'm going to go ahead take by one inch out from the armhole region i'm going to go ahead to take by one inch out you could go ahead to take two inches out you could go ahead to take half an inch out but i said to take one inch out so that the neckline would not be too wide anymore can you see it would not be too um sorry too tight too small anymore so this is this is it this is what you go ahead to do so the first line is not needed the initial neckline is not needed then take notes please the next thing to do is to check this your that difference do you see um you closing of the up that can you see after closing the neckline is not equal anymore did you take notes yes see where my barrel is exactly this is where the current neckline is so because this is what happens when you cut it off. Once you sew in and you realize that the up, the, the bust pads are not matching again. It's because we've already tampered with the neckline. So what you go ahead to do is to blend the neckline. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't having another color. I would have used another color to mark it then. Can you see? I have blended the neckline. You see? I have blended the neckline. So that is the part that I will be using i'll be raising the the, the the center a little bit higher that way while sewing you would realize that they would be equal if not they would not be equal before once that is done your front pattern is ready you cross check your measurements from your under bust to your half length to the blouse length to the belly button now your blouse length is going to be having the tip of your blouse length that is the base is what will be having your hip measurements is what will be having your hip measurements so you'll be connecting the allowances as i am adding and this is me currently adding the allowances i'm adding my allowance you'll be connecting it this way to the that leg that is sorry to the base of the blouse that is your hip measurement take note that is what you use so that the base of that is the where the blouse is going to stop would end up not being tight that is my reason for using hip measurements hip my uh, hip measurements inside an evil blouse or inside a blouse so that the base of the blouse will be having my hip measurements and then after infusing my allowances this is what i'm having if this is the measurements of your customer this, this is how the customer's differences are this is how your evil blouse should be for the allowance take notes for the allowance mind you we have um, different measurements 
different measurements will give us different pattern results but would give the same fit once your cloth is ready so i'm just going to go ahead to cut off then for this part remember i'll be closing it watch me let me cut off completely then you see me close the bust that so while watching do well to subscribe to my channel do well to subscribe to my channel and do well to click on the like button please so remember this neckline that i showed initially so that is exactly what i'll be doing for this part yes So this is how to close a post that and you see why i'm shooting i forgot my masking tape at home but this is it so normally i was supposed to put the masking tape on top but this is what you work with can you see so this gives more fits from the up bust and the under bust it's more reasons why your um your blouse would fit perfectly so now we're moving to the back for the back you go ahead to remove your zip allowance first as you can see i'm removing zip allowance i'm removing one inch one inch for my zip allowance once that is done i'm going to go ahead to do the same thing that was done in the front for the width 5.5 inches that is for the neckline the width of the neckline 5.5 inches then this is just me marking that half an inch off just for formality six and i'll put the same thing the same thing by 1.5 inches or one and a half for the back because this woman doesn't want her back low as well so this is how you do it now if you want it so low you can go so low so how it will be okay for the customer so the same thing you did for the front is what you'll be doing you connect the seven inches for the armhole that is four inches off then three inches down for the descending can you see then the same process is applied for the neckline you connect the the armhole starts from the tip of the neckline the, where the uh, neckline stops that's where the armhole starts yeah, you'll be marking your underbores you'll be marking your half length and that's all these are the two things that are really that are really important for the back since it's not having a yoke these are just the two things and it's not that hard it's just to follow the process you take your time gradually and you're good to go so just like just like i marked the the that difference the boss that the nipple to nipple points i'll also be marking that the nipple to nipple point because i'll be separating it i'm not sewing the dots i am cutting the dots out so the 3.5 inches that i used is what i'll also be using here so i'll also be using here so when i remove my dots i'll be left with whatever is available to sew now for my dot i'll be removing one inch one inch one inch there's really no calculation for this one but i love removing my darts enough i love using my enough darts removing enough darts for the back because all these little little things are what helps in giving you a perfect fit on a cloth and what helps in giving you a perfect fit your able blouse will be okay there won't be any little bulge everything is also gonna be perfect smooth in the back smooth in the front these are the things that helps this is why i like doing this can you see now i'm gonna take it up connect it up that is all so unlike the fronts that i took for the up bust of the front that i took one one inch for that upside this one i don't really need up to one one inch so i just did like a half an inch for the up connects to the under bust connects to the half length mind you the reason why my half length and my under bust measurement for the that side is diff the same is because their under bust and their half length is the same for those that the half length is way bigger than the under bust you use that measurement you won't connect two inches the same you will make sure if the under bust difference is two inches that side should be like 1.5 inches then for the zip side i'll be taking in i'll be going in by one inch by um half an inch or one inch 
you'll be going in by half an inch or one inch from the zipper side you'll be giving it a dart as well can you see can you see now all this is applied because the person's waist and under bust measurement is the same take note of that please if the waist and the under bust measurement is not the same all these things you are taking should be mostly in the under bust alone but since it is the same i'm taking it from both the under bust and the waist so while we are sewing it's going to give it's going to be curved this blouse while sewing it is going to have a whole lot of curves take note to have a whole lot of curves you are sewing it correctly i bet so you follow this pattern your clothes will be so fitted beautiful on your customer on your client's body so there was something i forgot to show us this i would love for you to stay tuned once i finish cutting i'll bring it up once i finish cutting the back i'll bring the front yes so this is this is my my pattern sorry it wasn't complete the complete front wasn't shown but you get the point that i mean here now because i have removed one inch from the front that is for the bust that i am supposed to remove it remove it also from the blouse length the back of the blouse length so that's exactly what i am doing now i'm removing one inch from the back of the cloth of this cloth i'm moving one inch because so, the front and the back is not always the same thing so if you remove one inch from the bust that that should be the length of your back if you remove two inches for the bust that that should be the length of your back